hey guys welcome back to another flutter tutorial in this video we will see how to add advertisements into your flutter application so in this video we will cover how to add banner ads interstitial ad native ad and rewarded video ad let's see the demo how the application works and we will go to the coding how to implement them so here we have our application running in the device after 10 seconds, we will have a banner ad into our device at the bottom. And you can see we have native ads into in between our contents. Suppose these are the images or the videos into your apps. Then these will be the native advertisements which will pop in between them. And by pressing of this add button, if we want to add another image or another content into our application, we will have an interstitial ad shown and then by closing that we will be redirected to the next page and by pressing this video button we will have our rewarded video ad and again by closing this one we will have our user rewarded and we will be redirected to our next page so these are the four types of advertisements which we will cover in this video how to use and how to add them step by step and i will also leave the source code for this project in the description of this video and uh, at the end of the video if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and without talking too much let's get start with our tutorial hey guys welcome back so now let's Let's get started and see how we can add advertisements into our Flutter application. So the first step is you have to go to this website admob.com and create your account. After that come to the apps, add app and complete these processes. Once done you can come to the apps again and choose the app that you have just created. Then come to the add unit and add the advertisement that you want to add into your Flutter application. So in this video we will be covering how to use banner, interstitial, rewarded and native. These are the main advertisements. And in this video I will not add advertisements here because even if I add advertisements in here it will take some time like a day maybe or two depends on your region to get accepted and approved. So I will use the test ads but be sure it will work because I have already used this type of advertisement and this technique into my other apps which are up and running. So once you're done with creating an account in AdMob, then you will be ready to continue with me. As you can see in this project I also configured a Firebase which wasn't really required but I did uh, just in case to add this, uh, to connect this one with my Firebase project as well. You can see here I linked that into my Firebase. If you also have this, you can come into the app settings and click the link to the Firebase. It will be linked. Uh, you have to provide the, your Firebase information. Okay, so now let's see which which are the packages that we will be using in this project. We will be using the Firebase AdMob and from this package we will use banner, interstitial and rewarded and for native ads we will use this package. Although this one is also having native advertisements but I did work on them. Uh, it just didn't work. It is a little bit complex. That's why I just decided to use this package. It's very easy just calling this. It will, everything will work fine. So I will show you how to use them. Now let's get started with our coding. Okay, so the steps which are required to add or show advertisements into your Flutter application is uh, the first one is you have to come in here in your Android manifest inside the application tag and uh, after this activity or outside the activity you have to add this one. You can copy this from the Firebase AdMob README. You can come here, copy this one, and change the value of this one with your AdMob ID. Where you get your AdMob ID is 
again simple you have to come into your app choose your app into the adwoop.com then come to the app settings this is going to be your admob app id copy this one come to your android manifest paste the code in here and change the id with yours i already did after that we are done with android manifest we can close this so another thing which is required to be added into our app level build.gradle is you have to come here and add these two lines I will give the link for them so that you can get the latest version of them and now we are ready to go so into the main activity we have just passed the control into our home page and inside our home page we will be adding everything that we require so let's get started with our actual coding now uh, first I will work with banner add I will declare a variable for banner add okay this is how we can create a banner add and in here I have used test unit ID because uh, we are really testing how our banner should look and where it should be placed but once you're done with your application and you're about to release then you can change this ID with your real ad unit ID of banner from your Google AdMob you can copy this one and paste on there and you will be ready to go but for testing I, I always suggest to use this test unit ID and we have set the size to smart banner uh, we have different sizes for this banner add like full large leaderboard and different sizes you can play around with them and the listener when the uh, banner ad shows what will happen we will see the event so we also have uh, targeting info if you want to show your banner ads only for a specific target then you can go ahead and create a con and in here you can specify these ones for your target for your specific target like birthday and these gender keywords test devices content URL you can add them and then go ahead and copy this targeting info into your banner ad and this banner ad will be shown for this specific information that you have given okay without talking too much let's go ahead and proceed with our banner ad because we have a lot of a lot a lot of things to do so in the init state we have to first initialize our uh, advertisements itself so it will be firebase admob dot instance dot initialize then this admob app id you have to go to your app settings then copy this admob id come and paste in here then again in the init state what you have to do is you have to banner add so by opening application your admob id will be initialized and your banner ad will be loaded from your account then you're ready to show it anywhere that you want whether it's by pressing a button or anything that you plan to do so for me I'm planning to show it when our app is loaded after 10 seconds I want to show the banner ads so in here I will uh, show a timer so after running my application and loading the actual build context after 10 seconds of that a banner ad will be shown now let's test our ad into my device okay after 10 seconds we got our advertisements one more thing I have to mention is that I run this application into an emulator device and it failed to load ads from the AdMob account I added the test ad unit ID and real ad unit ID but still it was failing to load advertisements into the emulator devices and that's why I'm right now I'm using a real device to test the ads and if you figured the problem and solved it please let me know in the comment 
Now we are ready to go and implement our interstitial add. And this is how we create an interstitial add. We don't have anything else to do with this. Going to init state and load the interstitial add like we did the banner. So after loading the interstitial add, where I'm planning to show it is uh, inside the app bar, I will have an action which will be a button for us to add an image, add a video or anything that your application is. But by pressing that button, first we will show an interstitial add, then we will redirect our user into the next screen. That's the most common case that would happen with interstitial ads. So on press of this button, what we will do is first to remove the banner ad because the banner ad will persist to go to the next screen and it will be there forever until our app is closed. That we don't want that. And if we want to go to the next screen, we want to remove the banner ad. So we can do that by using banner ad. And now we can show interstitial ad dot dot show. No, not this one, but we have to check for its null safety. After showing this interstitial ad, we can navigate to another page, Navigator. Now if we rerun our application, and here we go, we will wait for our banner ad to be loaded after 10 seconds. Okay, we have our banner ad in here and now if we press this add button it it should remove the banner ad and uh, show the interstitial ad which is how it works and we are into the next page it means our interstitial ad is also working for the native ad you have to come and uh, install this other package which I told you about it is very much easy and uh, straightforward. So for our native ad, I'm planning to use uh, inside the body. I'm planning to use list view dot separate it. And now let me implement the body for this uh, list view. Okay, as you can see, we have 20 items into our list view and one is actual content and the next one is separator. So right now inside the separator, we want to show our native ads and we don't want to show one in between because it's not a good practice to show native ads into your real content like this. In this case, we will be giving a gap in between our native ads, like after four or five uh, real content, we will show one native ad, which is a, a good practice. So now let's start with implementing our native ad instead of this separator. And this is how we can implement our native ad mobs. It's very much easy, isn't it? And if we save this one, we will see a loading and we will be loading the native ad. You can see our native ad is loaded and after each, every, each and every content we will have our native ads. Uh, you can also change those uh, settings inside the native by going in this option and native add options if you go here you will have the label text style body text style everything you want to change you can change in here don't worry 
and one more thing we have mentioned is we have to show the ads one in between what we can do that we will give a gap of four in between each and every ad now if we save this and look into our app you can see we have one ad one native ad in here and scroll after four we will have another and again after four we will have another which is a, a really good practice you can add uh, the way you want like one in between but uh, it will disturb the user first and also it will I think it is not the rules of AdMob advertisements to be added like that and they will just close your account if you do so and this is how we can implement the native ads now we will go to the last one which is rewarded ads that's also easy so for that I have another plan just for our rewarded ad you can come directly into our initial state and uh, write your rewarded rewarded video dot instance this is how we load our rewarded ads and for on pressing of this rewarded ad we have to really reward our user with some coins or anything that you want And this is how we implement the rewarded ad by showing the reward if the user gets really rewarded we will check the event if it is rewarded we will assign it into coins variable that we have declared up there one last thing in the dispose we have to free up the memories that we got okay now how we can show our rewarded video ads uh, in init that we have loaded rewarded video ads now it's time to show it into our user by pressing this button now what I'm planning to do is in the next page I will create a variable here final now let's rerun our application into the device and see how our all advertisements are working okay now our app is running in the device you can see our native ad is being loaded and we have our banner ad loaded as well we have our native ads in here and by pressing of this ad button we will have our interstitial and by pressing this video icon button we will have our then the coins will be zero maybe it's because it's test ad but still it works one more thing I forget to mention in the beginning of the video if you have your Firebase configured and you're configuring your AdMob advertisements after configuring Firebase and you already have this Google Docs services before configuring your AdMob, then you have to, I mean, after linking your AdMob from here into Firebase, you have to download this Google the services again because this line will be added. A link into your AdMob account will be added to your Firebase services. That's why you have to go to your project and download this Google the services again, and everything will be fine. So this is how we can implement advertisements into our Flutter application. If you learned something new and really enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such amazing videos and contents in the future. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.